In this video, it is the quite extraordinary Carver One. So yes, here we go. This is the crazy, crazy world of the Carver. Um, it's Dutch built. It uses a Daihatsu four-cylinder 660cc engine, which is mounted at the rear, and it is somewhere between a motorbike and a car. Uh, it does have pantograph wiper goodness, but you look how slender it is. It was kind of designed to be um, a more narrow vehicle, so you could nip through the traffic. Um, but the, the problem with narrow vehicles is they tend to be quite unstable. So there are some very clever engineering solutions to um, assist in that department, as we'll see once the um, road test gets underway. But just a single wheel at the front. Uh, we've got this um, somewhat airy cabin because the windscreen reaches all the way back up to here. And uh, yeah, very cosy it is indeed. We'll, we'll have a look inside in a moment. But yeah, it, in this box at the back lives the Daihatsu engine. And sadly they were only produced for a couple of years in the um, early 2000s. I think it was 2007 to 2009. And unfortunately uh, Daihatsu stopped supplying the engines. Uh, Toyota decided they didn't want their engines going to um, external manufacturers, which is a crying shame. You will see that it is actually uh, a tandem. Uh, there's not very much space, but technically you could get two people in it. There is um, a tiny amount of load space behind that seat and a little more on this shelf. But yeah, otherwise it just stands as a fine testament of um, crazy Dutch thinking. Uh, you've got air intakes for that rear mounted engine there. So the, the, the clever bit is that the whole body tilts separate from the um, rear. So it leans into bends. It is the exact opposite of my Citroen 2CV. Um, so you've got you know a, a traditional motorbike style um, front arm with a coil over and then somewhere under this area lurks the magic that actually tilts the car and it depends how hard you go into the bend so it isn't just turning the wheel that makes it tilt uh, it detects um, how much um, the g-force has been generated i think and sort of tips it accordingly quite extraordinary so let's take a look inside there's only the one door over one and uh, that's quite a nice touch. Look at that pantograph wiper goodness. And this windscreen that comes all the way back up to here. Also looks like the roof panel can be removed. And uh, that should probably actually be clipped in, I should think. Uh, so we might do that before we set off. But we've got windows both sides, so we're well ventilated. We've even got a little ashtray. Uh, that's a footrest for the rear passenger because there's not very much leg room. So you have to slide your legs in either side. And it's the same there. There's the door handle release for this single door. Um, it's turbocharged, so this is the same engine that um, Daihatsu used in um, the, uh, oh, what was the sporty Daihatsu Syrian? Uh, the R4, I think it was, and uh, the later version of da Daihatsu Mira um, Avanzato TRXX also used this same four-cylinder 660cc K-series engine. Lovely Momo steering wheel, and uh, yeah tilt on pedals which given the car tilts it seems quite amusing uh, the chap who's just bought it out has clearly got longer legs than i have um, which um, bodes well because um, it will be more spacious um, with me driving in the back but it's done 48,999 kilometers of course it's a kilometer speedo and the right hand gear change because um, it's uh, developed in a left hand drive country so that seems quite precise I mean it must be an interesting linkage given that that will tilt with the body and the gear change presumably won't so quite intriguing but I suppose really I'm gonna to have to try and sit in the back aren't I it's got to be done well it's a good job it's a wide angle camera because um, I'm now in the back with the seat set for the admittedly very tall driver and um, yeah my knees are sticking out either side uh, I can't say this is the most comfortable position I've ever been in. Uh, I'm practically wearing uh, this seat in front of me and uh, you do feel quite claustrophobic penned in here. But you know, you can lift the roof out, so I suppose that might make life 
a little better. But um, I'm going to say that really this is not seating for two. Right, here we go then. Got a little bit of manoeuvring to do. Uh, handbrake is all the way down there. That's not helpful. Right. So I'm going to have to go forward a bit before going back a bit to get out of here. And we'll go just around the car park so we're not covered to um, drive this on the road sadly but i don't think that's going to be too much of a downside if i'm entirely honest oh oh whoa oh, it's wobbling around already and then yeah as we come to a left hand bend we turn in and over it goes oh my gosh that is um very strange whoa that is just the strangest sensation let's go around here yeah, it doesn't actually respond all that quickly. Certainly not as quickly as I thought it would. Um, very interesting. Whoa! This is absolutely <laughs> insane. I wonder if I could engineer took the Invercar to do this. Let's just do the windows up. I'll go right the way around. Whoa! This is like being in a fighter plane. This is the most bizarre experience. Yeah, this is very strange. You can hear the turbo starting to spool up a bit. Turn it in, whoa! Most bizarre vehicle I've ever driven. And that's saying something, I've driven some very, very bizarre vehicles. Gets a bit thrown out when you go ac across a crossed camber. <laughs> oh, the insanity. The turning circle is rubbish. <laughs> Presumably you must get used to this, but I'm just going to try to wipe her. Oh, look at that. We've got no screen wash going on, but a lovely um, pantograph action there perfect coverage no triangle of doom or anything oh this is insanity i'm not sure i'd want to drive this on the road this is frankly terrifying Yeah, it detects when the wobble is going to kick in. So if you go one way and then the other, it really throws you around to um, counteract that. Whoa! Whoa, that is <laughs> absolutely insane. Whoa, here we go. Maximum angle achieved, I think, there. Oh, yeah, we're getting... You can see the um, lights on the dashboard, show you how far you're going over and they warn you if you get too much lean on. But it's just insane. And I'm the person who has taken this car to 49,000 kilometers. Wait for the turbo. A crazy crazy car I'm not used to the horizon moving around so much but with, with, with this little K car engine and um, not very much weight I don't know what the weight actually is 
Um, I expect it must be quite um, exciting out on the road. But yeah, the turning circle is not actually all that good, as you can see. It can't even turn around in that distance. Oh, Stolio. Let's try outright acceleration. It sounds, it sounds far quicker than it actually is. Uh, it must be said, it sounds like it's absolutely getting a shift on and then doesn't really, but whoa, there's the lean. This is the perfect car park for doing this, I must say. So well done, Southwood Car Museum. Oh yeah, we're getting quite a few green lights on there. insane so there you go that is the crazy crazy world of the carver one um, i might just try and get you a better angle i'm just going to move you back a bit because um, i think you need to see just how crazy this really is right should we see how um, this angle does oh the handbrake is so far away This is how much angle you get on. Look at that. It's just the, the most bizarre sensation. I'm saying the same thing because it just is. It's truly insane. Really correct it mid bend because uh, it just makes it wobble. So um, yeah, that's, that's best avoided. Oh, I think I like this a lot. Near the um, hydraulic pump running. Wow. I mean, frankly, I could spend the whole day driving this around that car park, but I don't think they would let me. But let's just have one more pantograph moment. Ah, oh, a thing of great beauty. It is quite warm in here, but you know, I can drop the windows, uh, but they only drop that far. But because the windows are just there and there, instant cooling. So there you go, out of this magnificent collection at the Southwood Car Museum, I chose to drive the Carver 1. I mean, to be fair, they've only got about seven cars that are roadworthy, and that's one of them. Um, but um, yeah, an experience like no other. It's impossible to drive one of these cars and not use the words bizarre and insane. Um, so I definitely hit all the cliche points on this one, but I mean, it is. It's just amazingly weird. So thank you very much to Southwood Car Museum for letting me drive the car. Uh, I will be doing a full report on the uh, museum itself. As you can see, it's a pretty decent size. And yes, that is Marlena Dietrich's um, Cadillac V16 there. So I will do a detailed look around this museum in a future video, running a bit behind on my Kiwi Motor Museums. There are so many of them. But um, yeah, this one has proved to be a real highlight. Uh, so I shall say, thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget the Hubnut store allows you to buy such lovely items as an Invercar t-shirt. And uh, I shall see you in a future video. Farewell.